Cato with Town Square Buzz and I'd like to welcome you to today's segment of Town Talk. Today we're talking with Roger Harris who is running for City Council at Large Seat in the upcoming election. Hi Roger, welcome. Thank you Angie. Thanks for joining us today. I'm happy that you're here and willing to talk with us about your platform as you start your campaign in full throttle this uh, coming week for council. Elections will be here before you know it. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about who is Roger Harris as a person? What have you done? What community service are you involved with? What business background do you have that could make you the perfect candidate for city council? Uh, I moved to McKinney in uh, 1991, 19 years ago. Uh, I purchased a business here in 1987, Metro Linen on Industrial Boulevard, uh, in 1992, uh, stand corrected. I moved here with my wife Jan and uh, our three children, uh, Allison, who will be 21 a week from today, and Stephen and John that are 18. Um, I served on the Addison Airport Board, living in Addison prior to McKinney. Uh, during the 1990s, I served on the McKinney Airport Board and chaired it for two years. I currently serve on the McKinney Economic Development Corporation, and I represent Collin County on the North Central Texas Workforce Development Board. Uh, in, in so serving the uh, McKinney Economic Development Board, I also uh, serve on a committee for the business retention and expansion program that I believe we refer to as the development advocacy committee where we talk to existing companies that are here and uh, discuss expansion or operational mm -hmm. issues that they have. Um, Metro Linen was honored as the outstanding business of the year in 2010. That's the business you started? Uh, UL actually bought it. It was very, very small. Okay. Um, it currently provides linen service for the North Texas area. Uh, three years ago, we started into the Houston market. So we are serving the Dallas Fort Worth and the Houston mm -hmm. metro markets. Okay. Uh, How do you think that job has prepared you for being a city councilman? Well, from a business standpoint, you know, I operate a business that meets payrolls, pays city taxes, deals with the utilities. Uh, I deal with a lot of our employees that uh, live all over the city, mm -hmm. on the older east side of the city, the western, newer part of the city. Actually, I, I work, the plant is on the east side, my office is in the historic downtown neighborhood, and I live on the west side. So I transit the city on a daily basis, okay. sometimes several times. Um, I think I know the, the people, I know the demographics, I know the issues that, uh, that we have in front of us. Okay, so if I were to ask you, Roger, tell our readers and viewers why they would want to vote for you, what would that message be? Well, I think I understand the, uh, the issues that we are, uh, that we're going to be confronting. And, and let me begin by saying, uh, I think when you get into these campaigns, you, you get into the campaign to help and to serve and to make improvements. Um, I would start by saying that I think everybody that lives in McKinney is very fortunate to be in McKinney, Texas in 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, we were voted the fifth place, best place to live by Money Magazine. And I think that that is not only a, uh, an item that we need to celebrate, but we need to, uh, it, it's, a, it's a testament to what the mayor and the city council, the city staff, the boards and commissions, and the residents have been able to accomplish up until this point. You know, but uh -huh. being number five is a number and, and we are really all about people. Uh, looking forward, we've got some real uh, challenges. Uh, I think it's illustrated best by looking at the school district. Our school district tenure needs are uh, 900 million dollars, I believe. Five-year need is 300 million. Our immediate need is 200 million, and our bonding bonding capacity is 191 million. Mm -hmm. So we've got to get some tax base. We've got to get some 
some tax base now, uh, or the citizens of McKinney and the existing businesses are going to be required to pay those additional expenses. So we've got to get tax base on the ground now, uh, and we've got to be planning for that in the future. You know, we we have just experienced the worst uh, economy that we've seen since the Great Depression. Right. Uh, McKinney, fortunately, has not seen it as bad as other parts of the country. Uh, serving on the North Central Texas Development Workforce Board, uh, you hear the presentations by economists coming from Austin. And when you compare what we're seeing to what the rest of the country is seeing, uh, we've come, we've gotten off fairly, fairly well. As a matter of fact, we are still growing as a state. I forget the amount of, of uh, jobs that we've got coming in or, or uh, jobs being created, but our, our job creation rate is comparable to the rate of people moving into the state. Okay. Uh, I believe, it's my opinion, that McKinney is going to return to the high growth rates that we've seen in the past mm -hmm. two decades. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not be a bit surprised if we don't exceed that. Um, we've got to get prepared for that type of residential increase mm -hmm. by offsetting it with commercial tax base. Uh, we have one strong asset that will allow us to do something most cities do not, and that is the General Aviation Airport, the Collin County Regional Airport. Um, it, it's been uh, said that one corporate jet pays the taxes equivalent to a four-story office mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. And a jet can get here much quicker than we can build uh, office buildings. So are you seeing that as a, an enormous piece of our economic development that we need to go after? Absolutely. In, in, in two ways. One, uh, I would say inside the fence. You know, from my experience in Addison, um, I'll tell you that inside the fence, the aviation segment of the General Aviation Airport, of course, that's where the jets come, that's where we can house corporate uh, flight departments. Uh, that's one side of the coin. The other is the businesses that want to locate because we've got the airport. You know, they may not be involved mm -hmm. in manufacturing airplanes or the parts that go in them or, or working on the right. planes. Um, they could be a company that has a plane that uh, utilizes the airport to have their executives commute in and out. And we've got several corporations right now that, uh, that base out of McKinney. And, and our airport is a, is a first class, um, probably one of the best general aviation airports in the country. If it came to it, do you think that the city should take ownership of the airport? How well, do you feel about that? The city does own the airport. It's just like you owning your house. The city owns the airport. We've taken a lot of federal dollars in, so um, we have to comply with the grant assurances that we've signed in order to get the federal dollars. Um, now there's there's an FBO out at the airport mm -hmm. that is a fixed base operator that services aircraft, uh, puts airplanes in hangars, and, and fuels aircraft. Uh, that is a privately right. operated facility. Um, so yes, we own the airport. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Town Talk. I hope you'll check back with us as we continue our conversation with Roger Harris, who's running for City Council at Large Seat, as we delve deep, more deeply into the issues that he feels are affecting our city. <music>